Hello, everybody. This is Slade. Um, firstly, on behalf of Choice One Communications, I just want to thank you for choosing us to install your camera surveillance. Uh, we really appreciate your business, and we appreciate all of our customers and all of the love that you show to us. So thank you for uh, doing that first off. Now today we are going to be setting up your Uniview account so you can see your Uniview cameras on your phone and on your PC. So uh, if you look in the description below, I have put links to the mobile application that you'll want to download. It's called Guard Viewer. Um, this tutorial will work the same across iPhone or Android. Uh, the only thing different will be downloading the app from the App Store. So follow the link below, uh, whether you have an Apple phone or an Android phone, download the app. And then go ahead and open this application on your phone, like so. And you're going to come to this Live View page here. And you're going to be shown that no device has been added. Um, just go ahead and click Later. Um, so this uh, tab you see here, this is going to be the tab you will eventually see your cameras populate on once we have them added. Up here in the top left, there are these three little lines that's going to open up the menu. Go ahead and click on that. And this menu just kind of shows you the different um, options and windows you can go into into the app. We will uh, be going over that in another video on this channel. But for now, come up here to where you see this picture and log in. Go ahead and click on that. All right, so Obviously, uh, if you haven't set up an account yet, what are you going to log in with? Uh, if you have an account, obviously just put in your credentials and log in. But for the first time users, you're going to want to come down here to sign up. All right, so you're going to want to enter your email address. So I'm going to put in my email address. All right, down here, it will set I have read and agreed to both the service agreement and privacy policy. Go ahead and click that. And now you can click this big blue button that says verify. What this is going to do is it's going to send an email to the email account you've input up here with a code. You will then put that code in the next screen and it will verify that you own that email address and you can create an account for Uniview. Um, the important thing to note here is when you click verify, you're going to have one minute to put in that code. So if you're a little slow on computers or you're not by your computer with this email, um, make sure you go ahead and get close to it because you're going to have to be a little speedy. So I'm going to go ahead and click verify. It's going to let me know. And then I'm going to come over here and open up my email. I'm going to refresh it. Oh, look, here's my verification code. So I'm going to open this up so I can see this code here. So I'm going to enter my code. And I'm going to click Next. All right, here is where you will create a password to use. Um, so uh, go ahead and write down something either you use commonly or you can remember. After you put in this information, uh, we're going to want to write it down so you don't forget this password. So I'm going to create a password here. Um, all right, and I'm going to click sign up. All right, so now it should take you back to this live view screen once you've gone through all of these steps. 
Now come up here to these three lines again, and now you'll see that this has changed from login to a username. But what the heck? E-I-Z-R-W-1, that's a weird username. I'm probably never going to remember that. Well, we're going to go ahead and change that. So go ahead and click here. And up here at the top, you'll see username, and I'll have that weird one. Click there. And here you can enter a new username uh, for whatever you want to use to log in. So I'm going to do... All right. So this is going to be my new username. For our customers, I suggest just using your first and last name. Um, whether you want to capitalize it or not, it's up to you. Once you choose what your username is going to be, go ahead and write down that information. This username uh, is going to be very important. So make sure when you write it down that you write down capitalization everything as you've put it in here. If you would also go ahead and write down your information that you've put down on a sticky note, piece of paper, however you want to do it, and make sure you give it to our technician who has put in your cameras or to email me at the office. Um, you can find our contact info, our phone, everything like that on Google. Uh, go ahead and give us a call if you don't have my email. We will share the device to you using this username. So once I've changed it, I'm going to click this check mark. Oh, I probably put in too many characters here. So I'm just going to do choice one com. All right, so now I've modified that successfully, and you can see it's changed here. So if I were um, just setting this up for the first time, I would write this down, and my base, or I'm sorry, you only need to give the username to our uh, technician or to me in order for us to share the device to you. So that is how you set up an account um, in general. Once you've given either the technician or myself your username that you've created, I will go in and I will share the device to you. Um, basically, that just links that device to this account. So the nice part is if you were to lose your phone, um, get a new phone, anything like that. If you open this, download this app, open this app up again, log in with the information you just created, the device will then just show up on your app. You don't have to put any special information, network information. You don't have to go to the machine. It'll just automatically show up in your new account. So... Um, once I've shared it with you, you'll open up this menu again here, and you'll cruise on down here to Devices. When you open up Devices, I haven't shared anything to this account yet, so you're probably going to see this screen. Um, once I've shared it to you, I would suggest closing the app reopening it. Um, you can also try pulling it down like this and then letting go and it will refresh. And then your device will show up in this list. Um, from there you can just, there will be three dots over here, you can click that and then click start live view and you will see your camera show up. If you get stuck anywhere, um, feel free to call us, send me an email, talk to our technician, and we will help you finish up this process, and you will now have uh, your cameras connected to your phone. So thanks for watching. Again, thank you for choosing Choice One Communications for your camera surveillance, and um, subscribe to our channel. I'm going to be uh, uploading more videos here. So thank you very much. Have a wonderful morning or afternoon.